Ladies and gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. You don't need to do that. Why? He doesn't need to, but he will. Yeah, he does a lot of things he doesn't need to. <laughs> we all do a lot of things we don't need to. Nah, I especially do a lot of things I don't need to, I admit. Welcome to the Semi-Perfect Podcast, the final podcast of 2019's January. Crazy, huh? It's a funny way to phrase that. Yeah, it really is. I like at the end of the year already. I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, going back to things that I do that are and aren't necessary. Um, so welcome in. Uh, lots happened in the last two weeks. Uh, specifically, it feels like a lot's happened in the last couple days. Yeah. Because um, when I first po- posted about the podcast, I'm just like, I don't even have like anything that lined up that we I can told, talk about. I told and then... you about falconry at that point. <laughs> Monday? I really hope we're still talking about that. I, I showed think up specifically about... to talk yes. about it. Yeah, we, we, we will talk about falconry because... Well, we'll get into that a little bit if anybody in the chat is confused as to yes. how the fuck that uh, manifested. Yes. But, um, oh, I, I, I doubt. I expect we'll leave them with more questions than answers. Good. We should. Yeah. I, I'm the one who brought this up, and I know like probably nothing about it. But yeah. Um, yeah. So well, so we welcome learn. in. Lots to talk about. Uh, I'm excited about this podcast. Uh, to start things off, we already got a super chat. For those that don't know what a super chat is, in our live audience, uh, it what? Oh, I, th- I was about to ask you if you wanted to introduce people first. Oh no, I was just going to say real quick a okay. uh, thanks to Quiet Storm for the super chat. Um, and uh, again, super chats it is a way for you to donate money to the podcast, yeah. so Sarah doesn't uh, run out of money trying to destroy me our next goal is to get a uh, plug-in for our second monitor that we've had for (laughs) two years yeah um so yeah we're working on that (laughs) um so that being said quiet storm says since utopia land was announced and this is something that oh my god we're gonna talk about uh he was saying uh let's see quiet storm says you know it will take some zootopia funds to make the trip so you think it would be appropriate to plug toodles patreon yeah sarah has a patreon you just reopened it yeah i just reopened it i closed it late last year um because i had a b- whole bunch of life stuff happening and i was just like i need i need a break i need a, a vacation I mean, good life stuff yeah uh good and That's bad sarah. all at Finished the same that. time yeah, yeah marrying yes. me was probably the worst so. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah i'm just i, I really needed some time to just focus on other things and i've restarted my patreon it's all rebranded and all that stuff and redone um so if you guys are interested just take a look at patreon uh, dot com slash toodles toodles yeah all right cool well time to welcome in everybody first off we have the first person who is here waiting to get this going hero sashi uh Yep. Hi. <laughs> Paleo Steno. I sure was. Hi. Saber Spark. Greetings. <laughs> I could feel his beard. <laughs> I love that. And Panama Matt in the house. Good evening, everybody. We got Toodles. Hi. And me, AC Race Best. And <clears throat> Laura should be here in a bit. Yeah. Just like well, Gabe. She's here now. Just like Gabe. We'll, we'll greet her when she gets here. We you should know, all actually joins. We should all go see Gabe's play. Like just show up and, and be in the audience. <laughs> I'll drive and not, to Arizona. Not tell him that we're gonna go see it. And he's gonna be like Whoa! <laughs> I can talk about this. <laughs> what are you all doing here? <laughs> Do a backflip, Gabe! <laughs> Break character so we can See a backflip. Mm. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> well, he's supposed to be Tiny Tim, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! It's a Christmas miracle, Uncle Scrooge. Oh, boy. Um, well, so, uh, food posts. Is it food time post? for food? Let's look at food. Let's look at food. Food posts. For anyone that's new or anyone that's old, yeah. uh, we have a hashtag that I'm sure you've shared with people. Uh, yes. Oh, hold on, let me fix the Twitter window. She broke it. She broke it. No. Sarah. Is this it? Sarah. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it just breaks by itself. Sarah. All right. 
So, food pucks, first off. Uh, so now they can see it, right? Yeah. Wow. Monumental. Yeah. <laughs> Be but how do, how does someone screens. submit a food post? Hashtag hashtag SPP foods plural, and I guess I'll drop that in the chat one more time for y'all so y'all can do it. We want to see what you're eating right now because Sabre and I love food. It's a tradition. I'm gonna mute myself quickly because I'm gonna move my microphone uh, to my desk from the play. He's coughing. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move my microphone real quickly, but uh, give me like one. <laughs> Sounded like a robot on our end. Uh, Paleo. Yeah. I'm doing a, a sound check real quick to make sure. Did did Saber sound funny to you, or no? He okay. did not. So I that's why I, I heard it earlier. I want to make let me, sure. Let me try and change the server so it, it might sound better for you guys. Cause you sound okay. Yeah. The Saber did not. The south. What? Change I changed it to. South. Yeah, the South server. So much better. Okay. The, the South will rise again, Sarah. Oh, <laughs> food posts. All right, we got <laughs> Soren K. Peregrine. Simple food, toast with raspberry jelly and banana, with a good old glass of milk. By the way, I'm a fairly new listener into the podcast, so I'm going back and binging every episode from the start. Are down episode twenty-two. Wow, that's dedication right nice. there. Nice. That's Thank insanity. You for listening. Is what that is. <laughs> enjoy. But well, welcome aboard, and hope you enjoy the ride. Yep. Yeah. That's hardcore. Yeah. Whoa. What is that? What is Quiet, that? <laughs> Quiet Storm's got something. Here we have a salad with mild cheddar slices, cheese broken into pieces. Uh, hashtag race likes cheese. Sliced lean turkey with pepper and some barbecue ranch dressing that was in the fridge. That it just sounds like a hodgepodge of wonderful. <laughs> I had barbecue ranch and I had ranch dressing. I didn't update the page before I went on here. No, you didn't. All right. So that was quite storm. Thank you for your submission. Norse Brony forgot to take a picture of food. So here's a zombie food post, a serving of Jill Valentine with a side order of Chris Redfield and Dash of Barry Burton. Man, those names (laughs) are very funny to me. (laughs) Uh, Apparently playing the uh, Resident Evil 2 remake. What's funny? It's just... They sound What's funny is your fake, audio quality right now. Which they are fake. Our audio just, quality? They're very obviously. Sarah's. Yeah. It's a little Maybe fun. I should change it back. <laughs> uh, see, I, I'm, that's why I'm wondering, is it on our end? Is, is, do you have, like, yeah. any... Is your laptop uploading something? Yeah, because no, you I'm sound sure a little, my laptop's a little closed. closed. Sarah's downloading porn. No. I'm not... Who does my that anymore? <laughs> Yeah, Who downloads it? What's the point of our Ethernet cable? Our sixty foot right. Ethernet can... cable. <laughs> okay, I can I can hear him better now. I changed it back to East. Okay, much. Mm-hmm. we're good. Oh, it's your fault, Sarah. Okay. <laughs> um, Rosie Diamond forgot the hashtag, but I see it. I saw it over here. Here it is. Join tonight's semi-perfect pod with leftover chicken piccata. From my favorite local Italian restaurant, mashed cauliflower and Diet Pepsi. Whoa. Nice. Thank you for your submission. Thank you. Uh, Nora Mermaid having some homemade chicken as I light my Lady Gaga prayer candle, hoping she wins all of the Oscars. Hashtag I give hope Gaga, she wins Gaga best the Oscars. actor. Uh-huh. Yeah. She will. Okay. Uh, then we've got. Chris. I see that. I see that Judy and Nick. <laughs> we got Chris Hope. There's nothing like homemade beef stew to go with your semi-perfect pod. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I wonder what. No, is that whiskey? literally yesterday, Race was talking about how he wanted beef stew. So I guess we're gonna mm-hmm. need to get beef stew at some point. He's watching on a switch. Yeah. yeah. Let me make sure our Ethernet cable is plugged in. <laughs> I don't know why I would have unplugged, but Jeffrey, you wanna? Continue food posts? Yeah, what I do. do scroll. I do. Do we still sound good to you guys, by the way? Sound great. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. It, I'm just, we sound yeah. great. It just, now it's starting to, Switch over to my chair. make me nervous. Sarah, this is my chair. I can't sit in your chair. That's cooties. All right. Sorry about this. All right. Railroad Brony says, tonight for the semi-perfect podcast, I got some white rice with hot, zesty buffalo wings. Oh. And then says, seriously, my eyes are burning. They got a kick to them. 
along with traditional oh. lemonade. Hey, Saber. All right, sorry. I uh, my enemy started panicking, and I was like, "Calm down." I had like talk him down. You don't even need to call him a good boy. No, no. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing to see here. You all hear me, all right? Yeah. What? <laughs> I moved my microphone to like position, so I should be better now. I apologize. I'm back. He's so, sorry. He's returned. So to be clear, to be to be a hundred percent clear, as we just make sure that everything's nice and pretty, uh, Paleo, Matt, Hero, Saber sounds good to you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Far, yeah. So that's I. I'm still. We're sorry. On on Sarah and my end, we are diagnosing to see because like Saber sounds a little poppy to us. Which I don't think is Saber's fault. I think I think we're having some well, kind I mean, of. He is a delicate little flower. Uh, uh, puppies. Mm-hmm. But I just want to make sure that our connection's good to go. Did yeah. you check this or? Yeah, it was good. Okay, I, I'm gonna do a quick diagnosis. Continue with the food post. Okay, you did railroad bunny. That was where sure you were. Sure did. Going? Okay, and then we've got Morgan having Domino's and grape juice, an unlikely duo, but I love grape juice, so fight me. I will not, not fight not, you. I'm not going to fight that. that like <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got Auto Knight, also known as Princess Deadpool. Worked way too early and had no energy to cool. Thank God for Grubhub. But until it gets here, I will enjoy this hard lemonade and wait for Applejack to come and kick my ass. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Five new results. Six new results. Damn. Everybody's submitting today. Good. All right, we've got Cool Blue, the dinner my mother prepared. It looks like a wadded up piece of paper. Nice. <laughs> it's a secret recipe. <laughs> Achieve Hunter, it's been a long time. Race, remember video vlogs for conventions? Yep. Yep. Got a bag of Doritos. Let's see, Jaden's got pomegranate ginger ale. That sounds Upside down. Yes. The Upside best down. kind. That sounds, that sounds tasty. Yeah. Uh, we got sun shit shimmer. <laughs> when baby brother took a night out of my cheesecake, a bite. Hashtag a hole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like that account. Invisibroni. It's got a liquid of some kind in a fancy plastic Good. jar. Good. Nice. And we've got Hugh with water and studying for finals. All you need for SPP foods. Good luck. I'm going to be nosy. Let's see what's... Exposition. I see the word euphemism implied. First person narrator. It looks like like, kind of some sort of writing (coughs) studies. English. Wait, go back on the picture. Let's look at the... uh... The shelf. I see the some shelf. cars. I see a Mini Cooper. <laughs> I see a football. Is it's like a, a little robot back there. Is that a Ford Explorer? Uh, the red one? I, I think I see a ukulele. Yeah. Nice. And I see that this this individual has fans as well. Yes. Nice. Good. All right. All right. Um, thank you all for your submissions. So, Sarah... Um, I guess now is typically where we find out how everyone's last two weeks have been. So, mm-hmm. here's Sashi. How have you been? I won't go from my mouth. <laughs> so, now's the best time to tell. Yes. My last two weeks have been really average. Nothing good, nothing bad. Just living life. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. What about you, Paleo? Living the dream. Yeah, uh, <laughs> about the same. Just, uh, just working on stuff and stuff nice <laughs> no, well, <laughs> what about panama matt matt all right okay that's good <laughs> <laughs> he had the I take pride in our podcast and how it goes off without a hitch <laughs> <laughs> i take pride that we don't bother editing it afterwards so like oh yeah look how s- seamless this went we have um, so many members because at least on every occasion, <laughs> three see, of them are missing. All we need is, <laughs> is th- you know, four people to work at twenty five percent, and we add up to a hundred percent. My friends, it, it's called redundancy. It keeps us safe. <laughs> <laughs> Saber, how have your last two weeks been? I've been fine. Just been uh, living life, working. That's it. Nothing too special. It's That's really cool. how it's been, though, for real. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, like January's it. been pretty boring, boring, other than the beginning of it. I like it, actually. I've, I've been kind of wanting this with, like, the, the craziness of Christmas and New Year's and moving. And now I'm like, okay, here it is. Calm waters. It's time for me to get back to work and, and just, you know, start climbing that pole all over again. Because I'm a stripper. And I was excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> if I was a stripper, I don't know. I feel like it'd be one of those kind that are like you can look but you can't touch kind of strippers. I think. Uh huh. What would you your put stripper do? This, I see. A little bit. I'd be. I just keep my exact name right now. <laughs> Saber Sparks a great stripper name. <laughs> <laughs> so no. <laughs> Saber Stroke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stroker Sparks. Sarah, why aren't you laughing? <laughs> Sorry, I was reading a text thing. Yeah, we, we were just seeing somebody asking, talking about things going off without a hitch. I guess I guess someone was asking why there's a live stream on standby. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, but. Sorry, <laughs> but it's weird because, like, obviously people are here. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I have no uh, idea. We're just semi-perfect. That's all. Uh, Sarah, how have you last? never claimed to be anything else. Matt! What? How have your last two weeks been? You didn't answer the Busy. first time I asked. What's good? Well, it's because I was getting dinner. Beer, alcohol. No, meat pies. Mm. Spinach and beef. Are you going to eat Suitable pies? for the food post. However, they were still cooking while you were going Mrs. through them. Mrs. Lovett's meat pies? Not quite, thankfully. <laughs> Ew. Meat pies. Bye, the priest. <laughs> Sarah, how have your last two weeks been? Uh, fine. I updated my Patreon and have relaunched it, and I've also relaunched my commissions. Uh, not much else, really, as of right now. Jeez, I love. Well, I've been I've been applying to jobs. jobs. I so love how I love how everyone's like, yeah, open. yeah, it's been quiet, not much. And I'm sitting here like, oh, <laughs> I I uh released a bronies react did a did a premiere for it and we had like 18 wait we had a lot of people we had a buttload of people honestly any anyone can do that 12 million no (laughs) yep it was not that many people no it was i i forget now i forget i uh but it was in the thousands yeah, like I was, I was really, really impressed with how many people showed up for it. Um, it was good. It thing was... A good friend recommended it to you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Paleo recommended it to me. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Saber was talking to me about it, and it's funny because after I said, "Oh, let's do it," I had people going, "Oh, you're gonna use the most hated YouTube feature ever." And I'm like, uh? <laughs> but I, I guess when it came out, everybody used it. Yeah, I can like think of everything. a lot more features that are way more hated yeah, than that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Dem- demonetization is a pretty hated feature. <laughs> yeah. Thank God for the copyright bots. That's all I got to say. No, yeah, apparently, apparently when the feature first came out, there were a lot of YouTubers that were like, oh, I'll do this with every single video. Like, gamers that upload, like, seven videos a day were like, oh, cool. And okay. gaming. Hey. So, <laughs> so it was, uh, yeah. it was interesting. Um, but, but definitely the premiere uh, went off great. It was a lot of fun kind of watching everybody. Oh, that didn't work at all. Uh what but are you looking for? I, I was just trying to, to... I'm just dumb. That's all. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, so it was it was great. Uh, I, I would not mind doing that with uh, future Bronies Reacts because it was a lot of fun. Sarah got her hair cut. Did I already pass it? Sarah, help Here, me. Let me do it. Help I'm doing it. Me. You I'm do good. it. You can get a haircut. Oh, I got to tell the story since I did bring up the Bronies React. 1,850 live viewers. Okay, it was over 1,800 people. Yeah, Yeah, live watching. Like, that was incredible. It was it was great. Um, and uh, and again, thanks to everybody for the uh, positive feedback and whatnot. I I see it going right now. Um, but uh, it's funny because in this in the React, there is a scene uh where Sarah chucks a book off of our balcony and apparently actually aimed for me. No. And tried to hit me. No. And missed because she's a. I didn't want to do this gag because I was like, if it hits you, 
that's gonna be really bad. <laughs> she's so. like, I'll throw. She's like, I'll uh, I'll throw it like after you're out of the scene. And I'm like, no, see this line on the ground. Throw it when I pass that. <laughs> and uh, anyways, I was contacted by the authorities <laughs> shortly after because the authorities, being my mother, saw <laughs> this on Twitter. And is all, why are you throwing your textbooks? We could have resold that. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, mom. <laughs> no concern for your for your head or anything. No, no, no it was for the book. The money. The completely about the book. Like, uh, we could have resold that six year old textbook. And I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Um, but that being said, uh, yeah, there's been a lot going on. Um, the Bronies react. Also, I have a new video that's in the works that I actually, I was, I was very close to either releasing today or tomorrow, but I'm pushing the release for that video back a little bit, uh, because I'm working on a different video right now, which has to do with, should we jump into this topic now? Sure. Zootopia Land! Zoop to before, before we start, though, I do want to acknowledge that uh, we have a new member joined the chat. Not new, but Laura. Hey, Laura. Hey, Laura. Who? What? Hi. Z- Z- Laura. that you joined the chat. Right? How was your last two food posts? My food post? Yeah. I'm joking. Well, I didn't your last two weeks. Post it. <laughs> <laughs> have you had a good two weeks? Yeah, I just now finished watching the the Steven Universe finale because I knew we were going to be talking about it, and I wanted to be able to talk about it. Yeah, we will definitely get into that. For anyone that's wondering, that maybe ha- that either has seen Steven Universe, or more specifically for those that are watching but aren't up to date with Steven Universe, we will be very clear as far as when we're going to talk about that. We'll have a spoiler screen up and uh, a clear way for you to know when we're done discussing that so you don't hit any spoilers if you're worried about it. That being said, frickin' Zootopia Land. <laughs> yep, in Shanghai Disney. In frickin' China. Oh, I have such mixed feelings about this. <laughs> <laughs> you're happy that it is going to exist, but you're sad that you're, you're going to have to pay so much money to go and see it's it. A, it's something I'm probably going to be able to go to once. Yeah. Like, in my life. Yeah. Unless I don't do anything else anything like unless i only go to china once a year um yeah it's i i actually this is the video i'm working on right now um i'm putting together a whole is somebody like assembling a gun might be i'm not muted i'm sorry oh it's okay i was like i thought why griffin was here actually he's already assembling a gun i'm practicing i'm practicing smash Oh, he's actually making a gun so he can kill you all. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can't joke yes. about that, Paleo. Not in this day and age. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm making uh, a whole video uh, about uh, this announcement and my thoughts on it. So that will have even more fleshed out kind of uh, thoughts in regards to the whole thing. But uh, I'm hoping to have that posted tomorrow. That being said... Uh, yeah. What do you guys think about Zootopia Land? I think it'll be cool. I'm actually gonna... <laughs> Dinny. <laughs> Dinny. I'm looking up the press release that they put out. Like, the official. I, mm. I think it's in China, and that that's about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious to see what falls under the uh, concept of the area, but uh, hmm. see what they're willing to do with it. Able to do with it. I'm... Yeah. Like, my... Where, where I'm bummed is that all the characters are going to be talking in Chinese. So I'm not, I'm going to go and be like, so that's what Chinese Judy sounds like, but have no idea what she's saying. Also want to go, but <laughs> yeah, my hope, and I, I'm not counting on this, but my hope is that, uh, cause Disney, if you've noticed, they have, you know, toy story land mm-hmm. in Walt Disney world. Well, guess what? They also have Toy Story Land in Shanghai. They have Star Wars Land uh, in Disneyland and a Star Wars Land in Florida. So my hope is that they're putting another Zootopia Land somewhere. <laughs> like, just double In up. L.A. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, 
uh, I'm going to read like a little passage from their official press release. Um, Guests will be invited to experience the mammalian metropolis of Zootopia where anyone can be anything with a new major attraction that will seamlessly blend Disney storytelling and state-of-the-art technology to bring this fan-favorite movie and its characters to life, including Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde. Entertainment, merchandise, and food and beverage offerings will invite guests to fully immerse themselves in the Academy Award-winning animated movie. Nice. Food and Mammalian. Beverage. I thought there were reptiles in there, too. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. No reptilians. You're going to have to go back and watch the movie tonight, Matt. Apparently. And that's your homework. Yeah. Can I borrow it? <laughs> no. I only you have, have, like, five copies. Four <laughs> Blu-rays. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, this is... I mean, this is huge. Like, again, let's assume that... Or, or you know theorize that i i never am able to go to china yeah. to see this park i'm gonna i'm gonna make an effort to do it but even if i never was able to go out there this is really big for zootopia because to me it's like all right finally like some hope for longevity of zootopia like i don't know I, i'm just looking at this like now i'm i'm even more like okay now announce the sequel we're ready <laughs> but yeah this is uh, I'm I'm very excited, if for nothing else, just to know that you know there is, you know some, some acknowledgement from Disney for the first time since probably 2016, that Zootopia like, is a thing. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, excited about it. We're gonna have to save money to go see it if we can. <laughs> yeah, Saber, you want to go with me? China? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I've, been, I've been saving up my good boy points to cash in over there. So let's do it. <laughs> it's local. I have heard um, that uh, Shanghai Disney, is, like, I, I've, I've seen people have good experiences there. So, yeah. I'm also a wimp when it comes to, like, traveling out of the country. Because I'm like, oh my gosh. I won't. I won't know what to eat. I'll be afraid to eat anything. He's such, oh. he's such a wimp in general when it comes to food. Big old puss. Yeah. <laughs> now there's something I'd eat. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> okay, I, had, I, I I mean actual I cat. <laughs> they serve cat, don't they? Okay, so I, I I do wonder though if uh, like I would like to know the thinking, the, the process of deciding what attractions go to which parks because mm-hmm. uh, yeah, if it's it seems kind of arbitrary and and uh, they don't really reveal the. I mean, like I, I get it with Star Wars for America because Americans love Star Wars. Uh, I don't think a Star Wars land would do well at all in China. Um, Chinese just don't care about Star Wars. Right. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, China, Disney, or I'm sorry, Zootopia, when it was released, uh, it became the number one animated film of all time in China, as far as box office. Yeah. Like, it it, it exploded in China. Mm-hmm. And so, China kind of, like, bought <laughs> their, their rights for uh, getting this land. Um, which, again, like, as much as I'm like, dang it, I, I also... I, I keep reminding myself that beggars can't be choosers mm-hmm. and that I'd much rather ha- have there be a Zootopia land, even if it's something that is not super accessible to me. Mm-hmm. Because again, it's acknowledgement from Disney that, oh, no, we know that this movie made money. Yeah. And this, you know, that uh, hopefully there's more to come. So, yeah. 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 I, I think that's the whole reason that Zootopia land is showing up there but i'm also hoping that disney's seen all the because everyone i see commenting about this is basically saying the same thing but why china <laughs> why why not walt disney world why not animal kingdom why not this why not that i've just had the realization that with this new land comes a a, a butt ton of new merchandise oh Ooh. you bet and i'm i'm not <clears throat> ready get the storage facility <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> we, I've already got so much in my bedroom. It already. just occurred to you? Yeah. You realize that if we go, I will intend uh, on buying probably every single thing that they have there. 
<laughs> and I don't mean like I got one hat, one shirt. I mean like and I'm then gonna... you'll never get back home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't afford to go home. <laughs> I, you know, it's we... okay. He'll be, he'll be where he belongs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll live in Zootopia Land. Sarah, I like how you just realized this. Yeah. Just wait till we get to try I'm all sorry, this. I'm sorry, Sarah. Yeah. I'm just wondering, like, if the Zootopia food is going to be, like, all Chinese food. And I'm going to be like, wow. Uh, they're going to have popsicles, at least. Popsicles? They better have an ice cream I, shop. I'm just I'm just excited for the moment where we, you all have, like, a kid or something. And you love your house. And your kid's going to go into the West Wing. Like, y'all do. <laughs> it's forbidden. And... <laughs> I told you to stay out of here. <laughs> These are not your toys. <laughs> Dad, you're an adult. Get out. <laughs> like the Lego movie. Uh, you're not kidding. That's. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So any anyone else with thoughts on Zootopia Land? I hope they have uh, a bunch of sloths. Who are like the servers and just eat forever bring your food? That would. I wonder how hard they're gonna go on the snacks and like food in general because like in Zootopia a lot of their meat sort of based products are insects. They're not gonna go that hard. <laughs> I have faith that they won't. They could. They won't. <laughs> Why won't they? Because because I don't want to eat bugs and they know that I'm gonna probably eat. But Judy bugs. eats bugs. Yeah. <laughs> I thought she ate carrots. Yeah. <laughs> Mixed carrots. All right, Ooh. so Ooh. do we want to move on to the next topic? Nick's carrot. Yes. Okay. 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 Next topic. So uh, I thought Judy was Nick's carrot. Oh. So that so, being said, wait. Yeah. I was just gonna mention okay. again. Uh, I have a video coming out. I believe tomorrow, hopefully early tomorrow, uh, in regards to um, fleshed out comments and fleshed out carrots yeah. there you go oh, all right okay so to sort of open into this next topic because it is a weird one it is something we've more, never more so than talked about even though Judy's it's been around carrot. for a long time all right so jeffrey the yesterday i'm jeffrey ac race yes, ac race pest at 10 10 a.m yesterday in the morning uh as opposed text to 10, me. 10 a.m. in the evening. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, texts me saying, we should discuss Stephen and falconry on podcast. She probably thought this was a, a typo. And I was like, falconry? And he texts back and he's like, I learned about it today, LOL. It's hunting, dot, 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 with falcons. Like, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> the falcons were the hunter's, quote, unquote, weapon. <laughs> <laughs> they shoot falcons out of guns. And I'm like, yeah, it's been a thing for like thousands of years. And he's like, but I only learned about it today. I so, didn't know this Jeffrey, was a thing. This sounds so old school and cool to talk me. Talk about falconry. What is? I okay. Well, here's how I found out. Apparently, a coworker of mine found out that another coworker of ours does falconry mm-hmm. and like has like a, a bird of. Prey, right? Bird of prey. Bird, bird of prey. Of prey. Yeah. Bird of prey is a predator. Yeah. No, it's a religious fowl. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you give him that? That was no, I can't <laughs> not. That was such a final draft joke. Thank you. Somewhere <laughs> Jack's blade is like dying of laughter. <laughs> oh, he oh man. So yeah. Um I did not know uh, that this existed. Now, I was a little upset when I found out what they typically hunt with falcons. Yeah. Because I was like, I wonder what they get. Like, deer? Or, like, bears? <laughs> no. M- moles. Voles. Falcon, bring us a vole. <laughs> <laughs> bring it. So I'm guessing the primary hunting that they do is rabbits. And other small rodents. Yeah, that wasn't. Yeah. That was the bad the, thing. It just reminds me of that the episode of King of the Hill where Dale gets a falcon and like <laughs> he oh, yeah. tries to do falconry. Yeah, and it just keeps attacking Bill. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't fathom you thinking that falcons would take down a deer. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is for real. Really? There are 
Golden Eagles. Yeah, Golden Eagles like take okay, on, well, like, really okay. Great, right? But I'm they talking about a mountain a, goats. A falcon. You you talk no, about the, 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 you, you got some. No, listen. There okay. are some of these falcons yeah, and no, like, big massive bird of prey that like they can't really finish off. Like they'll go for foxes. They will go for small deer. Um, they they'll they'll take some shit on. And then like the golden eagles and like the fucking like Mongolia. They'll grab onto like rams or, or like mountain goats and they pull them off the cliff and they let the gravity do the rest of the work and they just smash them on the rocks. It's fucking nuts. Okay. See? Uh, I, I, I thought don't think race a was falcon in particular would be able to Bird take down lady. a big deer. Like a small deer, a baby deer. Yeah. I don't think a falcon could. No. Maybe but that's what I'm saying. A Strategically. Falcon. Yes. Y'all are talking okay, about okay. huge ass eagles and stuff like that. Oh, I'm just opening it up because there are more than <laughs> right. just you know falcons. I've, who are, like, yeah. yes. I've seen rescuers down under, so I have professional. Yeah, get a line, um, I, I'll get a bowl. I, I, <laughs> I thought race was like uh, intrigued by falconry because I I like literally the day or the day uh, or the day before uh, when he was talking about it. Um, I found out about this VR game coming out to PS4 called Falcon Age, and it's literally about falconry. Ooh. Wow. No, uh, uh. That's fine. I did no. Yeah. I did not. Is that know a VR that. game? Yeah, it's a VR game okay. coming out on PS4. Nice. So you need the, the PlayStation VR to to play it. I want to get one of those someday. After we save up our money for China. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I just I just had no idea. Like this sounds so medieval to me, and I was yeah. like, well, whoa. Like it reminds me of those. It reminds me of the dude in uh, Mulan. Yeah. He's like, go hunt me a. Go get me a doll. Go get me a doll. <laughs> yeah, the, the 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 leader of the Huns. What's his name? Uh, Sean Yu. Sean Yu. Sean Yu. Yeah, that's what I said. No. Nah. There is um. There's there's quite a few animals that are like, wow, we we domesticated that. That's wild. Like yeah. I, I told Haley, about <laughs> no, this. they're domesticated. No pun intended. God damn it, <laughs> Nick. Wow, <laughs> wow. I walk into that because uh, like the um, there was an entire thing about like, you know why didn't humanity ride out of Africa on zebras? And it's like, well, zebras don't listen. They don't have a hierarchy. They're just a bunch of dumb, stupid. Like, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, they don't they don't operate the same way that horses do because allegedly. If you domesticate the uh, the I guess the primark <laughs> of the herd, that's not the right word. I know it's not. Um, <laughs> you just uh, made up a the, word. The, the patriarch, whatever. Uh, domesticate the patriarchy. <laughs> <laughs> basically, the, the main the main male horse of the herd. The uh, alpha. Yeah, the alpha. We take over that one, and all the other horses fall in line. So, like, I don't know. Don't quote me on this, but like. I think it's pretty cool that humans are like, you know, we got all these different animals that helped us out. And know. how do the Wakandans domesticate the rhinos? And why why did it get nominated for Best Picture? <laughs> because the Wakandans domesticated rhinos. They also domesticated the fucking Oscars, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, we'll definitely talk more about the uh, Oscar stuff. But yeah, that, that was just something that I was like, holy F. That's cool. So, yeah. Do we actually want to we, go into we can, the Oscars? We can segue, yeah. All Oscar right. nominations have been released, and I was so upset that Slaughter Race did not get a nod because uh, I wanted to see that performed live. <laughs> oh, for a song? Yeah, that's right. Huh. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people were actually like saying it, that they're like, oh, I might make it. It's a fun song, but it's. It's not. It's not. I mean, some of the other Oscar. songs on there, like, eh. <laughs> it's, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Um. So, do we want to like go through all of these, or just like pinpoint? We'll, we'll like, pinpoint some of the the okay. bigger ones. So, like best picture so, first up. Well, okay. We'll start with best picture. Well, because they were but, talking about B- Black Panther. Not, that's so because I that it, was... no, Sarah. Sarah, it's Black Panther. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where are you scrolling? I was because I'm. Okay. I don't know. Is is can they see our screen? Is that why? No. Oh, okay. Do you do you want me to turn? It on? No, this okay. is fine. So, uh, yeah. So, anyways, the nominees came out. Um, uh, the well, I guess in general, um, any surprises, any lit downs, anything that made you guys happy? Fly Spider Verse, not Best Picture. 
Really? I mean, I was expecting it not to get that at all. I mean, I didn't expect it to, but that doesn't mean <laughs> Dude, that I don't wonder why. Hero, Zootopia didn't get a Because it's animated. Long. Yeah, it's Z Zootopia didn't beautiful. get one. Zootopia hey, Annihilation better. didn't get nominated for anything. Yeah, so anything. Like, and neither so did Penguin 2, the most wholesome movie of 2018. <laughs> Wasn't that also the only movie, like, ever to have a 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, it's like Zootopia, man. They didn't get a best picture nom. Uh, yeah, okay. I know he's saying like any nom. Yeah, yeah. So, but can we yeah. please focus though on the fact that Holmes and Watson <laughs> didn't get any love? <laughs> Will Ferrell I, put I his heart that. and soul I into that movie. That. We saw that movie. And I was just like, all right. He's... <laughs> we saw it. We did. We went to theaters right. and saw it. Yeah. Because he wanted to see it. I wanted popcorn, and it was on, so I said, this is it. You were excited for it. I thought it would Don't... be stupidly funny, and I, I laughed. And it just ended up being stupid. <laughs> I laughed. Um, so, yeah. Uh, on the So, what do you guys think? I know it was already coming up, but Black Panther getting a nomination, did it deserve it? Um... I never saw it, unfortunately, so... I'm not surprised. I'm not going to be much help here. <laughs> I don't think it's best picture material. I like the movie a lot. I, mean, mm -hmm. I thought it was a really good movie, but I don't think it's best picture material. Like, I know why the Academy nominated it, and I already disliked the Academy enough that, to the point where, like, I'm not surprised. Yeah. but They're trying to make up for past... Yeah, and, like, I get that, but it's still scummy in, like, a different way. Yeah. But it's just, it's frustrating because there are so many movies that are really, really good that get snubbed because the, or like the Academy just likes to pat themselves on the back and be like, oh, look at how great we are mm -hmm. and how good we're being to everyone. And it's like, except for all these really great movies that you didn't pay any attention to, hmm. which is yeah. literally I've, the only thing you're supposed to be doing. I've yeah. only seen two of the uh, um, Best Picture nominees, Black Panther and Bohemian Rhapsody. Same. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I want to see A Star is Born. I watched um, that today. Cool. Um, I would recommend it. Yeah, I'm probably going to try to watch some more of the uh, Best Picture nominees. But there was a lot, a lot of stuff in in uh, 2018 where I just I wasn't that like I didn't see anything in 2018 where I was like, oh yeah, this definitely is like the best of the year for uh, me. It for was for definitely like definitely Annihilation. Um, I mean, I I do like Annihilation a lot, though I I don't see it as like a Best, best picture it's not an academy movie because it's yeah. too sci-fi and too like yeah. vague and if anything i would have said arrival would have been that what do you say i would have said, said like arrival would have been that kind of kind of movie exactly <laughs> yeah it's i i agree back in 2016 i agree with yeah. your sentiments i, on I it. like that there's been more discussion about some of these movies than may have been in the actual academy <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's actually very true. That's like, also I, a thing that I'm very annoyed about. If the stereotype plays out, I should. I should <laughs> well, that's the thing that. is, again, I completely agree with Laura's take on Black Panther, um, where like it's to me, it was very much a typical Marvel movie in the sense yeah. that I I really had a lot of yeah. fun with it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I wouldn't say that it's like, oh my god perfection but you know most times when i'm going to the movies i'm not like critiquing it for like okay let's see how yeah. i did with with this this <laughs> way of representing the this of that and oh what a good message like i'm just like i want to have fun and i mean yeah it was it was great for what it did but it you know it, it does just feel like like a lot of people are like okay <laughs> why <laughs> we know why but why so yeah there's um uh somebody in the chat uh mentioned uh infinity war and like yeah like infinity war definitely is like my favorite live action movie of 2018 uh oh, though that's because like I'm, I'm a marvel fan and the thing is with infinity war it's even though like it it, uh, it appeals to like the huge marvel audience and stuff it's still one of those movies where you have to do homework for it yeah. <laughs> and you have to be attached to the characters uh like throughout that that uh that whole like series because mm -hmm. infinity war is like a season finale so right yeah yeah um 
on the uh, animated feature side, well, what did you guys think about what did yeah, and didn't I've get nominated? I've seen every movie except for uh, Mirai. I, I it wasn't playing, uh, or when it was playing, I, I missed it uh, around here. Uh, but it's by uh, Hosada, who did um, Girl Left Through Time, Wolf Children, Summer Wars, those movies. So I really want to see it. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, Spider Verse definitely like. That, that wins no contest. Yeah. I'm back. Welcome back. So I'm, I'm, I'm expecting the Academy to be like Incredibles 2. Yep. Yeah. No, they'll, they'll be like... My dad would love the movie. <laughs> <laughs> now, that what they'll do is actually probably be like, you know what? We really did snub Wreck-It Ralph the last time, so we'll, we'll make it up. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would, that'd be Wreck hilarious, because like, yeah, because Wreck-It Ralph was against Brave, and yeah. Brave won. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Direct Ralph 2 doesn't deserve the Oscar. Sarah, yeah. we saw it twice. I had to I had to convince Sarah to go see her movie a second time. Yeah, I mean, but I didn't want it. Like, cause what is Utopia 2's bad? I just bad. want to spend more money. It won't be. <laughs> but you tell me the part. Just put, just put a picture of Judy Hopps on the screen for two hours, and I'll be like, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Uh, but I, I've actually been like so sad to see how like I just this movie did not did not do for Sarah what I wanted it to do for her. <laughs> I was I was ready to be like, all right, let's go see this movie thirty times. I thought she was yeah, and I'm like, oh my gosh, Sarah. <laughs> I just yeah. Well, in general, I'm not a, like the the most I've seen a movie in theater other than Zootopia. Um, it was Wreck It Ralph, the first Wreck It Ralph, and I saw it about five times in theater. So uh, I'm not I'm not really someone that needs to go see a movie thirty to, times. To tell you guys in general how much Wreck It Ralph two disappointed Sarah, and we're not saying it's bad. It just didn't do what she needed it to do. Mm -hmm. Sarah has thrown away all of her <laughs> Wreck It Ralph stuff. And she has declared herself <laughs> a fan of Frozen. No. Like, that's how bad this is. I have not. Um, I still have my Wrecker Ralph books. Wrecker Ralph betrayed us! <laughs> Salacious I still rumors. I have my Fix of Felix Jr. pop. And I'm that's, just kidding. That's the only Wrecker Ralph stuff I've No, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. It's just a bunch of cheap walk cycles. <laughs> <laughs> what about Isle of Dogs being in the animated uh, nominees? I like it. I don't think it's going to win. It, well, I don't know, I don't, man. I don't know. They might go, it was Wes Anderson. He makes good stuff. And they vote yeah, and it. he. it's also stuff. Is that, and, and is that the, how dumb the Oscars are? The, the, the Oscars are stupid. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm already preparing myself that like, spider is not going here, to win. Here, here, here's the thing is, like, uh, Ard, Ardman's great. Ardman's very charming. But Ardman was, like, part of the reason, like, the Academy's made an animated feature category. Was, oh, really? was a chicken run and i'm like <laughs> it was like chicken runs not that great yeah i know it's yeah it's, <laughs> it's a fun movie and no, i enjoy no. it but like yeah i it's, can't even it's imagine just that... the great escape but chickens yeah and... <laughs> if, if, if spider verse doesn't win literally anyone who knows anything about animation is gonna be like you're pretty much objectively wrong i would say objectively incorrect yeah yeah yeah. If, if if I was on like let's say if I was like the head of Disney with like Rick Ralph or Pixar with like you know Incredibles two, mm -hmm. and they won, I'd be like, hey, yeah, thank you so much, but like I want to give a big shout out to Spider Verse for <laughs> pushing the media. That's the only way because you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I'm, I'm proud of you, Rick Ralph. I'm gonna let you finish, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, like, no. the, the most surprising if is if if it's uh, Marai one. Uh, because I still haven't seen it, um, but it's a Hosada film, and Hosada films are usually like really excellent. Uh, other than Boy and the Beast, that was kind of weak. Yeah, I was told but, that Mirai wasn't that great. I don't know. I haven't seen it myself. But, you know, like... you know what will happen is they're gonna say, "And your winner, Spider Verse," and they all get up on stage and they're like, "I can't. We did it. We did it." And then they go, "Oh, wait, oh I'm I am so sorry. So sorry. So sorry." It's... <laughs> I it's read the wrong after. envelope. <laughs> <laughs> They've done it before. <laughs> yeah, you guys that's... win soundtrack though. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, no, I, I, I don't know. It'll be, 
Uh, yeah, it'll be a moment to, to kind of just see what ends up happening with all that. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, any other uh, things of topic from the Oscar nominees? I'm just you all talk about Black Panther yet? Annoyed. We talked, yeah, we did. Yes. But, but Saber, if you'd like to throw in your thoughts on the Black Panther nomination for Best Picture. Yeah. I, I, I talked a lot about this. I, I mean, it's like a publicity stunt it's just a way to get people to pay attention to the oscars so like because like i mean there's a, there's a lot like I, I thought ragnarok was much better than black panther really the, mm-hmm. oh god oh yeah yeah better. all right so yeah i i just thought there was more going on as i was more invested um we'll see what happens it should be <laughs> if, if black panther wins i'll be like what the fuck really <laughs> black panther <laughs> oh okay like I'm, I'm willing to go. Okay, yeah, no, I mean, it's fine. Yeah, I got it's you, but... it's also like some people people are upset uh, because like this is the the first superhero movie to be nominated um, mm-hmm. for best picture mm-hmm. uh, when the Dark Knight happened in 2008 and that was snubbed. That one wasn't nominated. Nope. Oh, outstanding! Wow, ridiculous. That's pretty ridiculous, honestly. I didn't realize that. that. Bullshit. I saw someone joking about that, and I'm like, I don't get the joke. Because I thought it was nominated. Okay. Wow. Yeah, because Black Panther is the, the first superhero movie, like, ever to be nominated for Best Picture. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Unless you count Toy Story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then um, uh, Saber Twin Paleo pa- and a blonde <laughs> and your mom. Um, the uh, Paleo brought up uh, the biggest snub uh, for Best Picture, which was Paddington Two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I haven't seen Paddington One or Two, but I remember when Paddington Two came out, and people were talking about it. I'm like, this is a joke like an inside joke that i missed whatever and then like after the fact like months later people are still like yeah it was fantastic the thing is like i i went into it with the thought um like this can't be like you know that good or that flawless and then after i saw it i was like i don't i don't i i'd have no words to like criticize it it's too like wholesome and (laughs) it's, it's like paddington as a character is like so it's it's insane. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I want an English yeah. muffin with jam right now. That's why I want marmalade. 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 Whatever. <laughs> I just remember okay. after Paleo saw it, because uh, I think you saw it before we did. And yeah. you, you said, you're like, I literally would feel bad if I said anything negative <laughs> about the movie. I don't want to hurt Paddington's feelings. See, I like Paddington too so much that my wedding cake had marmalade in it. Wow. Yeah. And a Zootopia cake topper. Good. But I had a Zootopia yeah. cake topper. Yeah. We're going to have a video eventually come out. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> we're, yeah. It's coming. I, I'm, I'm waiting on the videographer to get us the <laughs> stuff. Who's yeah. also my sister. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. We're expecting more from that. So, any other notes from the Oscars for anybody? Okay. Well, Sarah, is it time to pull up that uh, that spoiler screen? Yeah. All right. So, again, folks, for those of you that do not want to hear any Steven Universe spoilers from the episode that aired when? This this uh, week? Monday. Yes, Monday. True. So, and it was the season finale. Season five finale. So, season five finale. So, if you've seen the end of the season, you're yeah. good. If you haven't but don't care about hearing spoilers, you're good. If you don't want spoilers for the season finale, we are going to put up a screen right now. So this it's screen you see. Have, you haven't seen it, have you? Nope. Deafen yourself. We'll tag you whenever you're done. Deafen yourself. Yeah, yeah. Thine I ears. Okay, sure. Yeah. And, now. Yep. And, uh, and for those, uh, anyone that is worried about spoilers, again, when the screen goes away, you are good to come back. So just go ahead and mute us. As soon as the screen goes away, we will not discuss any more spoilers at all. So uh, I'm going to kind of give people a few more seconds to file out. But just in general, did you just mute? I'm just curious. Uh-huh. What did you guys think of the episode? There was a whole lot of happened. <laughs> a whole lot of stuff. 
but overall I enjoyed it. I was just like, whoa. <laughs> Anybody else have any words? <laughs> I, I do. I agree I do. with Sarah. <laughs> so uh, I do have a little few complaints. Yeah. Um, I will start off by saying, like, I went into this thinking, okay, uh, season five finale, they're on Home World. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the kind of interactions we might get with Steven and White Diamond. Um, I, I thought that this would, you know, because he seemingly hasn't had a chance to talk to her. She mm -hmm. just instantly dismissed him. Yeah. I was kind of hoping, because, like, I guess, long story short, the, this was like wrapping things up for White Diamond. So that kind of bothers me. I was kind of hoping for at least. One episode, let it breathe with White Diamond, uh, let him talk to her, and then just utterly fail. But it got right into the action, and then like with the conclusion of her, as far as like not being evil. Yeah. So uh, that that felt pretty fast. Um, the the fusions, they were like, well, because I remember back years ago, I'm like, okay, well, we saw Amethyst and Stephen. I wonder what Stephen and Pearl would be like. Stephen and Garnet. Uh, maybe all of them combined. Man, they hit that stuff like a bullet list. Like, yeah. Bam, 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 <laughs> done. All right, there, got it done. I'm asking. Yeah. Um, that, that was pretty fast. When they started doing that, I was like, uh, that's when I was like, wait a second, is this the finale for the show? Because like, they're doing a lot of shit that we've been waiting yeah. for. And like, I, I do want to talk about each of these new fusions that we've seen uh, separately. Yeah. But yeah. Keep, keep there going. was just so much that so happened. Much. Just, yeah. <laughs> and, and I. Uh, there was actually a moment in the show where I, I was it kind of hit me and I was like emotionally where I'm like, wow, that's, that's quite the existential thing where Steven like was questioning if he even truly exists or if he was just another form of Rose, like yeah. his consciousness was maybe just a version of, of pink diamond that's been restarted, yeah. which you can argue that, you know, whatever, but that 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 would be quite the existential crisis to be like, no, I don't technically even exist. I'm just like a vessel, and that's it. Uh, which kind of bothered me. I'm like, I don't want that. I don't want to even be his own person. Whatever. Yeah. So, still, yeah. still for debate. But uh, yeah, it happened so fast. They knocked that shit out. They white diamond arc as far as her being the dictator of of the gem, oh, not gem, but of homeworld and the the whatever the rest of the gems in the universe like that mm -hmm. that's been somewhat resolved yeah and it felt like this was the definitive end of the series boom done but they hint at a tv movie which not even hint they're like yeah there's gonna be a tv movie yeah and then um and then i twitter was saying like yeah it's gonna be season six yeah i'm like okay cool then I guess we'll see what happens i uh i think the biggest jarring moment to me of this whole finale was when all of a sudden I'm like, holy shit, what just happened to the animation? <laughs> James yeah. Baxter. I'm like, James Baxter. <laughs> I'm like, James Baxter. I'm like, hello, Disney style animation. Yeah. Out of uh, nowhere. <laughs> yeah. So James Baxter saved Steven Universe. Uh no. I, I mean he he's a very good animator and I'm glad that they got him to animate that very important pivotal moment in the episode we'll we'll get more into it um but yeah like damn that's some tasty animation if you ever need some tasty technical animation you go to james baxter <laughs> and he will deliver tenfold like i was i was re-watching his animation reel and it's just it just blows my mind what he can do he did the whole ballroom scene in, in Beauty and the Beast, and the that that shit's hard. He he he's he's he's, he's a god. Like yeah. he's one of those people where I'm sure like the nine old men of Disney be like, wow, he's good. Yeah, yeah. Like you need a camera turn. You want the camera to revolve the around these drawn animated characters. No problem. James Baxter's got you. <laughs> yeah, that sounds fun. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounds hard. I want to do it. Uh, but yeah, uh, no, it's, it's a very good moment in Steven Universe, um, in which, you know, kind of branching off of, of uh, Saber saying, like, Steven had that kind of existential crisis where he's like, oh god, am I my mom? But then I, I love that they got James Baxter so they could very appropriately place the emotion in Steven, his relief. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? 
I've been thinking all day about that. She is gone. Like, she is gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to make but, a yeah. meme where it's like, "Hey, is your mom home?" She's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and there's a stranger at the door. <laughs> hey, hey, little man, is your mom home? <laughs> hey, where where did the last slice of pizza go? It's gone! <laughs> but no, like, it was really good animation. It was a very pivotal part in which Steven finally gets that, like, confirmation in himself that he is just Steven. He is himself. And that's good <laughs> for him. I was, yeah, I was... When they were going through all that, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, that, huh? I, yeah, I, I thought they were, they were gonna do it. I was like, oh. You thought they were gonna <laughs> yeah, bring Pink back? Be like, oh my god, it was Rose the whole time. That that would have been really fucking heavy if Steven was just dead or whatever. <laughs> um, when they pulled the, when they pulled the, um, the diamond out of his yeah. belly button. I was like, oh, there better be a bunch of veins and organs attached to it. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, it was just I like... Mean, dude, oh, dude. I'm like, I could have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I told Sarah. I'm like... I, I'm... I'm like, I, you know what I wish they did was that they showed us just this gaping belly button. Just, just the most hairy and nasty no, looking belly button stop. you've ever seen. In <laughs> stop making us picture that. But what else would you be picturing? That's... Oh. Yeah. When uh when when White Diamond was like pointing out all the flaws of the Crystal Gems, I I, I just when when I was watching it with Saber and I said, "We're not flawless." Oh yeah. There's a lot of stuff that <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that White Diamond knows about Steven and the Crystal Gems that she really shouldn't know unless she has some sort of like mind power where she can like. I don't know. There's a lot of things well, where you were theorizing. You were Sarah uh, went full artist on me after watching this episode and went so in color theory. Uh, yeah, in additive color theory, which is with light. Um, well, so I I read up on this a little bit to refresh myself. So when you combine red, green, and blue light, it makes white light. But there are secondary colors that are made up of mixing red green and blue in certain you know uh red and green light make i believe that is cyan mm -hmm. and so there's cyan magenta and yellow which are the colors that most closely represent the dime the diamonds pink blue yeah. and yellow and i was just like because when they first got into white diamond's head she like just babbled on about like their light and how pink is a part of herself that she has to repress. And I'm like, well, maybe White Diamond made the other diamonds and they are essentially, like, parts of herself. I don't know. It was a weird thing that got brought up and then left. It just got shoved off to the side. And I was just like, that was a weird thing. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh <clears throat> Any, anybody else have any thoughts on the episode? I, I guess last bit of thoughts to wrap things up for myself. Um, I don't know where the show's going to go from this point on. Yeah. like a lot of folks are kind of like, I don't know if, it's, if they're just like, hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's a lot more to the story and they designed the show to be like this. And um, it, but to me, it's like, wow, like a big part of the show that I love so much was the the sci-fi fantasy aspects of it with mm -hmm. like home world and the, and the gym empire and whatever. And, and it's just, I feel like a lot of that was, has been answered. And yeah. even and, the, ending, the ending of this episode felt, felt like the, uh, the ending of adventure yeah. time where it, yeah. it had, they, they ended with like the, the song. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they had a, a, their own original song at the end as yeah. well. Yeah. Like, I mean, I was, I think all of us, except for those that knew for sure that there was another season coming yeah. went wait <laughs> what? did the series just end yeah like i i was convinced it did and then i saw that oh okay there's a movie but i was still like okay but like yeah i knew there was a movie coming because uh that was that was revealed at comic-con uh last year so i i i i, I didn't know there was going to be like another season after this mm -hmm. yeah so. i i just i'm like 
yeah, like to me, like it's 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 weird because the whole build up it feels like for Steven Universe has been what what we got. Yeah, here mm-hmm. it's like, oh, yeah. okay, I, there it is. That's that's one thing I I do uh, really like about Steven Universe is that it it had a really good build up to each like um, antagonist mm-hmm. where it it. It kept felt it felt like it kept getting bigger each time, mm-hmm. up until White Diamond. Literally, yeah, the, 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 yeah. the the biggest problem with Steven Universe is the episode pacing. Yep. Because yeah. again, and maybe it's just me. Uh, mm-hmm. Nope. Like, <laughs> well, in, in the sense, uh, as in, as in, no, I'm I'm sure there's people who are okay with the slice of life, you know, episodes that are like peppered in to to slow things down. I I get it, but. Um, I love the big picture stuff of Steam Universe, and it's like sweet. Like I, I want to find out more. I'm hungry to know more. And then it's like, hey, but let's see what's going on with Ronaldo. And I'm like, oh, the <laughs> fuck. Well, that <laughs> Ronaldo, Ronaldo, like those kind of episodes to me wouldn't be so bad if this series if had an actual, actual release like, schedule. Yeah. Like, that's my problem with it, is when you wait six months to then get a Ronaldo episode, and then you go, well, all right, got to wait another three months to find out what's going on. <laughs> like, the, the... Yeah, that that's definitely a big part of what, what hurt it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this, this release schedule is... Because when, when, the, when the, uh, the show first came out, it was on, like, you know, a weekly schedule. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, like, it had um, the, the whole uh, episode with the Ocean Gem with the Lapis coming out. Mm-hmm. And that was, like, the first big reveal that yeah. happened. Yeah. Yeah. I This is the worst release schedule I've ever seen for a show. Yeah. Like, bar none. I've, mm-hmm. I've never been so frustrated with... Oh, when's the next one coming out? Oh, just give it a few months. Yeah. Like, What? The experience yeah. for the show would probably be very different if you just watched it all like on Hulu or like, somewhere else where it was available. Yeah. Yeah, it's to binge it. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, that's why Uncle I like Benjamin. I don't know. I, 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 I just I don't disagree. Um, Game of Thrones, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I laugh, but I've never seen that show. Yeah. Uh I wanna talk about the fusions. Okay. Um We'll say I, I, we'll start off with Smoky Cores because they were the first ones that we saw looking good with that new form. Who? Smoky Cores. Who's Smoky Cores? That's the the one with the three arms freak. And, <laughs> Steven and Amethyst. Oh yeah, the three arms freak. The crack addict. Uh, <laughs> Smoky. Smoky Cores was looking snazzy with that black jacket. Um, no, sorry, black shirt and stuff. But more importantly, we got two brand new fusions. Uh, one being. Rainbow Quartz 2.0 and Sunstone. <laughs> again, again, you're saying the names, but remind okay, me who Rainbow these Quartz people are. Okay, Rainbow Quartz 2.0 is between Steven and Pearl. Okay. And Sunstone is Garnet and Steven. Okay. All right. So, an interesting tidbit that I found out today. Um, one of the artists that helped design Rainbow Quartz 2.0 posted, like, a lot of their sketches and used he, him pronouns for rainbow quartz so i'm like oh that's neat so i guess maybe confirmation that there is another gym out there that uses he him pronouns possibly into addition to they them but yeah i thought that was a neat little detail and also i can't help i don't know if anybody else listens to the adventure zone podcast but i couldn't help looking at rainbow quartz 2.0 and being like is that taco from tv and that I know nobody on this podcast probably knows except for Matt because I've actually had him listen to a couple of I was just like it's Taco <laughs> but, I just saw Mary uh, Poppins yeah everybody sees Mary Poppins <laughs> the and, all the fusions but apparently are... the inspiration behind Rainbow Quartz 2.0 was like if you mix Dick Van Dyke and Mary Poppins together into one yeah that's kind of vibe yeah. well, so someone ships it hard yep like oh well, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So at this point, Stevens um, had uh, intercourse with all the gems, right? Stop. <laughs> Welcome to whoever just joined that call. Oh, did someone pop in? This I, I heard someone join. <laughs> oh, Gabe! Hi. Gabe's here. To Gabe, uh... do you do you do you watch Steven Universe, Gabe? No. All right, then you're not going to worry about spoilers, okay. then, I imagine. Nope, I don't care. 
at all. Well, I, I think we're right about at the tail end of this conversation, yeah. anyways. We're gonna talk about Sunstone and then Obsidian. But real quick, Black Griffin is in the house, folks. Welcome in. Good. Right, sorry, I was flying. I... Big surprise. When aren't you flying? My Isn't it? sister and she almost shot a duck. <laughs> <laughs> She should have used a falcon. Never a dull moment when you join a call, Gabe. <laughs> so, um... I got a pretty cool video of it, too. <laughs> so, as far as the, uh, fusions go, Sarah? Uh, Sunstone, which is Garnet and Steven combined. What a crazy fusion. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was like, whoa! That's quite different than what all the other fusions have looked like so <laughs> far. Uh, basically, like, 80s cartoon character. Um... But I like it. Yes, a cartoon character. <laughs> yeah, uh, like eighties, like the sun with the sunglasses oh, yeah. styled yep. things. Yeah. Uh, I loved how they talked, like just nonstop, like fourth wall and positive vibes. They're being like, believe in yourself. No, yep. um, it was very good. I I enjoyed that. And then. I feel like I'm the only person talking about Steven Universe. <laughs> no, I'm enjoying it. Okay. Keep, keep going. Keep uh, going. Have much passion. And then we I have... Like I'm listening. I was just talking about Zootopia for... And then we have Obsidian. Which is... Zootopia the... Park! The best <laughs> I love how Connie was like, You're huge! And then like the ship like puts a yeah, sprite right? down and is like, Oh yeah, <laughs> this other thing is bigger. Yeah, I think that was Paradise, and she's like, they're huge! <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Obsidian is all four of the crystal, like the OG crystals gems together, which is par pearl. Was, pearl. 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 Uh, pearl. She was Spider. Pearl. Spider Gwen. Pearl, Garnet, Amethyst, and Steven. I was convinced, by the way, that Peridot was going to die in this episode because her name was trending. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's probably just a whole lot of Steven, posts about Peridot. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> Okay. You yeah. sorry. Claude. No. Uh, <laughs> oh my I see the light. Holy god. <laughs> um but so, yeah, obsidian was cool. So one thing I want to add to uh the conversation. <laughs> Quiet Storm sent another super chat, so thank you again, Quiet Storm, asking race. What is the similarity with White Diamond, Sunset Shimmer, Starlight Glimmer, and Discord? LOL. Well, Discord's howling at the moon. We and sleeping in the middle of a Sunday forgave afternoon. Forgave them. I told Sarah, I'm like, I hope, I hope Stephen just kills. Well, <laughs> you know that ain't how Stephen do. But he should. I was like, I wanted Stephen to meet a, a character, an antagonist, a villain, who and you can argue that Jasper might be one of these, but like. Where it's like, you know, I love you, and I'm crying, and we can be friends. And and the kid just grabs him by the throat, and he's like, I don't want to be your fucking friend. And it's like, <laughs> whoa! Like, someone who's like, no-nonsense, pure evil. Yeah. 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 I, I thought get... White Diamond was like going to be Like Cozy Glow. <laughs> I thought White Diamond was going to be that, but no. no. I, I was I was seeing people comparing. Did the Cozy Glow like... thing happen already? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Well, I, they put a literal I'm a, child in hell. <laughs> I, I'm afraid to know what you're referring to, Gabe, because Gabe's been like, what? oh, is this, <laughs> is this the thing yet? I saw, um, <laughs> Does Twilight so, have wings yet? <laughs> I saw on, on Twitter people talking about, um, like, comparing this uh, this ending to, to Avatar, um, and how, like, because uh, uh, Aang is very similar of an antagonist to Steven because Aang is also very much like a pacifist. Yeah, Aang's um, and he he doesn't want to like kill the fire lord. Yeah. Um. If, though they're saying like, oh no, you're gonna have to kill him. Yeah. Um. And that end up, ends up where like no, he do, he doesn't like kill him. Yeah. So he finds yeah. another way that. Yeah. But what if I yeah. want him to I kill him? <laughs> I liked how when uh, Stephen likes or was going across the ground and everybody started blushing like they're an anime. Like, <laughs> my God, this 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 being is too powerful. He's turning us into anime. I told Sarah, I'm like, because we were discussing that, where like kind of the diamond side of him and then like the human side of him, mm -hmm. and I was saying how I I got the impression that like like maybe Stephen wasn't actually born a diamond. And that was jammed into his belly button, and then he 
like now he can't live without that side of him like his body is like i can't function without the yeah. diamond aspect i just i have no idea how the birth of steven even even came, steven like even well greg happened. gave birth to him. <laughs> <laughs> that was some burrito <laughs> Oh, I don't know what we need. I, I also saw somebody. Do we need uh, a jewel crafter or a nurse? <laughs> right, yeah. I also saw somebody. Uh, somebody mentioned on Twitter how like, how, like Stephen, um, he, he saved the universe by dissing what White Diamond. Yeah. And, like, which you like? Excuse? No, you're acting like a child. Well, I am a child. What's which your you excuse? excuse? <laughs> <laughs> I love Connie's like. <laughs> Uh, oh, man. I don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, we're talking we're about uh, and talking about Steve. It's yeah. crafting The Walking Dead. No, season uh, twenty. Uh, um. Well, anyone else have anything they'd like to mention about Steven Universe before we take down the screen and have Gabe understand what we're talking about? Yeah. Okay. No. Nope. Yeah. All right. Well, in that case, that's uh, that's the end of our discussion with Steven Universe. So we will go back. The thing is down. So oh, when, when Steven died, though, that was... <laughs> <laughs> Gabe. Ah. Welcome yeah. in. Thank you, son. How have you been? Oh goodness, I've been pretty good now. It's been a good time. I've had some good life. Uh, yeah. it sounds like it's oh, ending, but it isn't. <laughs> I just, yeah, what to say? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I've really had a good life, my children. I just want to thank you each individually. Gabe, what do you know about falconry? Falconry? Probably I a know lot. it is the act of training falcons to catch stuff for treats. Like deers cool. and deers. Here, by the way. You can tell here we're, at, we're done. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw a falcon uh, flying today. Yeah. So I was I'm glad, I, I'm glad it was flying. It didn't. Ah, uh, haha. Actually, I was above Alrighty. it. It didn't land on Did you bring arm, it a though. treat? I didn't. That's probably why it didn't land on my arm. You <laughs> always consider yourself above everything. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So flying's going well. That's honest. Flying is going, yeah. I, I um I I've recently, you know, got my tandem exemption, so I've been taking people up and I took Naomi up for our third flight and the first couple times I launched tandem, I wanted some good strong wind because it's pretty hard to, you know, do a running takeoff when you have no wind. But I've gotten, uh, I kind of this developed this new technique for nil wind launches where I kind of ski along the ground once I reach a certain speed, and it's just to keep my um, uh, prop from striking the ground, which is good when you're flying, and. Uh, so that we were able to take off a nil wind, which means if you can get off the ground when there's no wind, nil wind is the best way to fly because you don't have to worry about rotor being downwind of tall objects. So we flew over an abandoned quarry and we uh, we flew so close to the, um, whatever, the big towers they have there that if there was a penny on top of it, we would have been able to tell if it was heads or tails. Like we were like three feet from clipping the top. It's excellent eyesight, by the way. Just oh, thank you. Nilwin sounds like a fantasy location. Doesn't it? Oh, yes. oh, you must travel to Nilwind. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we uh, we just opened up the Q and A. Uh, so for anybody that wants to submit, uh, we'll be going under the hashtag SPP questions on Twitter. On Twitter, uh, I know that we had quite a few questions last time that we weren't able to get to. What's that <laughs> something from railroad boy interesting oh my god i love it <laughs> yeah we'll get we'll get to it in we'll, a yeah okay. so do we have any questions that have been submitted yet sir um say what <laughs> <laughs> questions do we have them yeah yeah hold on <laughs> what are they wait talk to us Why? okay so we got railroad bronies well mrs AC Race Best take Mr. AC Race Best to Zootopia Land, or will Mr. AC Race Best take Mrs. AC Race Best? <laughs> so, which way around is it going to be? Um, You'll take me, I think. Yeah, well, we'll take each other. <laughs> take me! A lot of people have been, like, responding to the Zootopia thing, like, being like, oh, second honeymoon? <laughs> so, um, Gabe, you heard about the Zootopia Land. 
Oh my gosh, yeah, are you kidding me? That that looks awesome. What what do you think? What are your thoughts? He well, thinks it looks I, awesome. I hope that it's well populated with anthropomorphic animals. Mm-hmm. Um, but I doubt it. Um, though Shanghai, they don't have the same like animal cruelty laws, so they might be able to hack something together. Um, <laughs> or apart. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> or, or, don't, don't forget the manpower they have, Gabe. <laughs> Um, Child yeah, I, I mean, I've, I have not been to Disney. It's Shanghai, right? <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been to Hong Kong, Tokyo, and then the normal ones. <laughs> the ones in America. <laughs> the normal, the normal ones. The normal ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just, just I, I shouldn't talk when I'm hungry. <laughs> like, you're not yourself when but, you're uh, hungry. Uh, no, yeah, I need a Snickers. <laughs> but um, yes, that that uh, I, it would be a really great excuse to go to the Shanghai yeah. Disney. Yeah, I we'll we'll go together. That way, yes, I'll know someone who speaks Chinese. I'm sure you know Mandarin. I know how to sing Happy Birthday in Mandarin. Jam or set. To sing happy Birthday to the Chinese ambassador. <laughs> that, that's, yeah. yeah, that's the one thing I've been what to the Chinese. Oh, okay. Gotcha. For some reason, I thought like Chinese overlord or something. I was like, wow. Um, but yeah, no, I. That's like my one hangup is I'm like I'm not gonna understand what the characters are saying. Well, that was it was that way in in Tokyo Disney. Um, there was you know they were all obviously speaking Japanese. I went into Turtle Talk with Crush, and boy was that funny. But. Um... <laughs> Because, I mean, his voice sounded the same, but, you know, <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just like, imagining Gabe, like, sitting there and just waiting to laugh for everyone else to start laughing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fine. But, no, it was, it was, that was very funny. Uh, crush you is what they called him. <laughs> crush you. <laughs> it was cute. Um, but the Fantasmic and Tokyo Disney Sea, the music was the same. It was in English. Interesting. So there's hope. Yeah. For us, okay, hope. We've got a super chat. From oh, from Pran Chan. Again, folks, uh, super chats will be prioritized. Yeah. Um, so we will make sure that we get to those questions and uh, yeah, really let them, uh, what do you say, breathe. Yes. Yes. So uh, Pran Chan wants to know from Saber and Paleo. <clears throat> says <laughs> on EA canning Star Wars again. What are your two cents on EA canning Star Wars again? Do they? Uh, I know that there was an entire thing about how they had a big Star Wars game that looked really great, yeah. And the developers are excited about, but they got scrapped. So yeah, yeah just the, in gen- wow. general, just just EA sucks. I hate them. They ruin everything they touch. Mm-hmm. Um, I I would love for the Star Wars uh, franchise to be removed from EA and given yeah. to. <laughs> Disney should just companies. buy out of the contract and be like, "Yeah, you, you're no longer making these anymore. Yeah, you're We're done. Into somebody else." I agree. Yep. Yeah, they've done the same thing with uh, NASCAR games. There are good NASCAR games, and then there's EA Sports. <laughs> yeah, EA Sports at this point is a cash cow. They've figured out how to make money, and they don't really care too much about the quality of the content, in my opinion. <laughs> it's in the game. It's in the game. It's in the game. It's in the game. What are you showing? No, me? sorry. I love my mom and my sister because I, I just opened like a Facebook thing that where they were chatting, and mom's like, "Oh, maybe I should trade in the old motor home for this one." And it's like, it's kind of like a house on... over. It's so ridiculous. It's kind of like the Goofy movie. Uh, oh. Pete's <laughs> RV, and Hillary responded to that with literally the GIF of Pete's RV setting up, where it's like cutting down trees <laughs> and it's popping all the hot dub and all that stuff out so i i have a problem with that <laughs> just that the part of the movie because like <laughs> it's heavily implied that uh that pete is like very wealthy yeah. but he works as a fucking photographer at a walmart <laughs> <laughs> you just know yeah, that it's, it's weird because like it's different money. from the show because in the show he's a, a car salesman yeah yeah, he really owns it like a car dealership or whatever. Maybe he is. He's, Maybe, just he's well, falling on hard times after the divorce. <laughs> Look, he's in witness protection after making a bunch of money for the mob. So they saw, oh, that's so gotta they be it. Up in a, in a store taking photos. When uh, the police take the money away from him that he made from the mob, well, they don't know that he made the money. Oh my God, Matt, you did it. I, you're right, dude. 
This is why you're a lawyer. <laughs> There's one reason. It's worth pointing can I, out. Can I do a, a cartoon video about this? <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did, didn't Pete always have like like really expensive stuff that he didn't actually yeah. own? Like his the boat. Didn't he like? Wasn't there a thing about like his boat getting destroyed? And he's like. Like, I haven't even made the payments on it or something. Like, maybe he's just one of those people who's like, oh, yeah, I'll get this, and then... I owe you. <laughs> I wow. actually have terrible credit. So, do we do we not have any other <laughs> inputs on the Star Wars? I'm actually drowning in loans, Goofy. I, I, think, I think we did... Uh, I think we answered okay. thoughts there. Uh, another super chat just came in from Quiet Storm. Uh, this one to Gabe. How? Yes. Actually, it's to Gabe one. How, how is the album going? Oh, he has two questions here. How is the album going? We'll start there. <laughs> uh, the album. I mean, it's going well. We're not really in full production yet because we're that we've reserved March and April for that. So I'm flying to Mississippi in March. I'll be there for a month and a half, and that's when we're gonna really. Um, finish the songs we have ideas for about 15 we're probably going to narrow it down to 12 with immortal we had about 20 ideas so we'll probably come up with a few more and then pick our favorites and then yeah but there are uh for those of you who don't know there are samples of our new music work in progress at, in the description at the end of um my latest couple videos so there you go easter eggs and two from quiet storm will you do a cover of you know my name from casino royale That'd be cool. I actually performed that one before. Is that why you're asking? He just answered. He can't answer me, can he? <laughs> that, is that I, I do love that song, but um, maybe. Actually, that's a good idea. I should write that down. That should be one of my covers. Uh, this Friday, though, Nate and I are releasing our uh, full version of the dubstep cover of um, of uh, Wait by Maroon 5 because it was the most popular one from our genre switching video. Nice. Uh, we got a super chat from Nora. Sup, y'all? My question is for Becky with the weird stare. Hi, Gabe. My first question. Wow. Oh, my question is, what is the weirdest gift a fan has given you? Herpes. <laughs> <laughs> you have a and here is gift herpes. Saber. Crabs. How do I accept this gift? It's a gift that keeps on giving. STDs. <laughs> uh, weirdest gift. That's a that's an interesting one. I don't know. I, that's a, that's a tough one. I haven't really thought. I mean, most of the gifts I've gotten have been really thoughtful and and really like well done and really nice. So, I, I can't. I don't know if there's ever been any weird gifts. You Nor never... you always give really good gifts. Mm -hmm. I, I wear most of your gifts unless they can't be worn. <laughs> but I find it. <laughs> it's just, it's, never mind. <laughs> that's a tough question. I, the weirdest thing I ever signed was a cheeseburger that they said that they were going to. Uh, <laughs> That they were going to spray and like preserve it forever. They did. Huh. I think it came back the following year at BabsCon. <laughs> no way! Mm -hmm. Ew. It was disgusting. <laughs> I was disgusted when, when we signed it. It was four days old. Oh, yeah, that's Ugh. about how old. Yeah, when when I signed it, the bread was basically petrified. Yeah, yeah. Ew. I just watched those <laughs> vlogs actually. Uh, the, that's the awesome. Day. So yeah, <laughs> and I saw the damn. <laughs> McDonald's burger. Oh. <laughs> Yummy. Um, well, wait. So you guys signed a nasty burger. So where would you draw the line? What's, like, something that you wouldn't sign? Because it's just like, nope, that's gross. Probably that burger that next year. Yeah. Mm. I feel you on that one. <laughs> they, they might still sign it, though. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I wonder where my line would, would go. You, would you sign a butt? A butt? Yeah. It depends on... on... <laughs> oh! I, yeah, I would I sign a butt. butt if it was but a nice I signed a butt. chest. Oh, yeah? I've signed a chest. Yeah. Yeah. Was it the same dude? It was a guy. <laughs> it I've, was a guy. I've definitely not signed any non-guy chests. <laughs> yeah. What else is there? I don't know. I've seen Barbie dolls. Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I actually had someone... Never mind. All right. <laughs> yeah, some stories um, are not not made for. I really want to know this story. <laughs> no, it happened when I was a kid. It was just a very weird, weird thing. Good. That yeah. happened. Dang uh, it! Now I can't set it up like that. Okay, it was my pastor Keith's daughter. 
and she was like four and she came up to me when i was like 12 and she's like i know what a guy without his pants looks like and i was like what <laughs> i said yeah and then she said i'll show you and she went into a room and i was like what the heck is about to happen and then she came out with a naked ken doll so, <laughs> oh my god and i was like oh yep that's that's she, right she that's was, it she was right yep she was right there you go Correct. Uh, we got a super chat from Fritz That's Roll. so funny, actually, because that's how the Christian uh, church actually teaches sex ed. <laughs> with Ken dolls. And it works like this. And they kiss, and then and then you have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really groovy, guys. Right, we got a question from, we've got a super chat from Fritz Roll. Thoughts on the Oscar nominees for best visuals? Let me pull that up. Let's see. Yeah, it's um, Infinity War, uh, Christopher Robin, First Man, Ready Player One, and Solo mm -hmm. Star Wars. This is the only First Man was and not good. Annihilation. Uh, oh, was, Annihilation yeah. was good too. Terrible. Yeah, and, and it wasn't nominated for anything. This was, was the not? only only group that I know every I've seen every movie. Yeah, well, I haven't seen First Man, so yeah. I, I mean, I I would I would say Infinity War because like Thanos is like super good in that. Yeah. Like the, the oh, way yeah. he, he, it really feels like he's just there. You wouldn't say Christopher Robin? <laughs> no. no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I didn't even see it because I heard from a lot of people that it was weird. It's okay. I mean, it's not terrible. Yeah. Not, like Uncanny Valley. I, I, like, weird, I like the first or... half of it. Yeah. Hmm. It was wholesome, and I enjoyed watching it. But at the same time, I was like, "This is interesting," and yeah. it's not quite, quite right. Yeah. Something just... yeah. Oh, something it was awesome. wholesome, but not in the Paddington way. It, it was. It yeah. was. Oh, really Paddington was cute. There was insufficient marmalade. <laughs> it was. There was. I was just kind of weirded out in Christopher Robin how he's like, I really don't have time for this, like like to go to the cottage, and then he spends the whole day at the cottage with Winnie the Pooh, <laughs> and doesn't bother like acting like, hey, I showed up because I'm actually cool. Like he's like, no, they can't know that I'm here. It's like you're here anyways. And then they see him, and he's like, oh, I gotta go. I yeah. just came all this way to put a balloon on the bike. So sorry, <laughs> you weren't supposed to see me. <laughs> what? Okay. <Yeah. laughs> Can I have a spoiler screen after this, cause oh, yeah. <laughs> came all this way to put a balloon. No, out of context. <laughs> That's a hard really movie to spoil. Right I think. Uh, they spoiled their own movie. Yeah, the, the trailer. trailer. The trailers. The... the trailer was the whole movie. Yeah. yeah. Summer Sarah, Sarah Sarah actually had a balloon on a bike. Sarah avoided or had me no. avoid seeing yeah. those trailers when like, we Like I put out a, t a tweet on Twitter like, "Hey, don't watch the new trailer for Winnie the Pooh." Where else can you put out a tweet? Yeah. <laughs> the news you got me there. <laughs> yeah. Uh so, we also have a super Oh, was there anyone else that wanted to yeah, I mean... put in their thoughts on visual effects? Nope. okay. Well, uh, what's your what do you think gets it, Sarah? I don't know. Did you like Ready Player One? Oh, I like that. Yeah, I, it's yeah. an enjoyable movie. I had fun watching it. It's not. Yeah, it's I not like a it good too. movie, but that, I had fun. Um, that, it. I, I don't agree. I thought that was such a dumb movie. Didn't like it. <laughs> okay, come on. You're a dumb movie. Whoa. There was not a single moment in that movie that I was enjoying it. Yeah, same. <laughs> I'll be honest. Really. I hated yeah, the whole thing. And I watched weird. the whole thing. I didn't well, hate it, I, but personally, I just thought it was boring. I'm like, yeah, this is uh, not that great. Have any of you ever walked out of a movie? Uh, no, I, just, I sleep in a theater. Oh, I did. Went... <laughs> I walked out of Fat Albert. <laughs> <laughs> was there a movie that we walked out of? No. Yeah, we we we've sat through some shit. Yeah. Um, Wait, what, what, we could have. What was your enough point, Gabe? Uh, it actually was during the running game. scene. Oh. There's like a race, and he's like running in place, and then he starts speeding up, and he's going faster and faster, and he's like, oh, boop -a -doo -boop -a -doo, it's fat zappity, and I was just like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Isn't Keenan Thompson Fat Albert in that movie? Yes. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> I uh, yeah. I um really? Yes, yes he is. The that worst him. The, I think the worst movie experience I ever had, which was the closest I ever got to walking out of a movie, was uh The Mummy 3. I The Mummy well, Mummy Mummy 3. The mummy. Oh, The Mummy. I've, Not the Mummy. I've never felt so just like 
what the fucked by a movie in the first <laughs> minute. I was like, who's this lady pretending like she's the lady that's that's not her? Because they just changed the actress instead of like cleverly like rewriting that character. Right, like, or yeah. something. I felt that way about Iron Man too. I was really kind of peeved. It's like, do you think I'm that stupid? Mm-hmm. That, that wasn't. Not. That wasn't the fault of. Marvel. Oh, I know. That was that was uh, Cuba Gooding Jr.'s deal. I know. Because he was like, was? yeah, it was. He he didn't he didn't want they want he wanted to be paid more than they were willing to offer, and so they recast him. <laughs> Boy, is he like both All him and Edward, Edward Norton Wait. are like just like shaking their heads right now because like yeah, of, seriously, <laughs> like yeah. how we just we just Marvel Cinematic Universe is. All he had to do was wait, wait. Yep wait until you're really ingrained into the franchise and and just uh, wow yeah i know <laughs> Oops. yeah totally um next super chat question comes from soundboard asking for everyone thoughts on the donkey kong charity stream and the amazing stuff that happened because of it so the um for anybody who doesn't know about the donkey kong charity stream it was a 57 hour donkey kong 64 stream and it raised more than um 340,000 for trans charity, um, a charity that uh, I think particularly focuses on trans youth. And so, like, damn, that's a wow. lot of money. Yeah. That's a lot that's of money. That's incredible. Yeah. I, I didn't know that. That's that's awesome that, that it was. Well, why Donkey Kong 64? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Because um, Donkey is a trans monkey. Let's see. Let's, let's see if we can find out. I'm reading a. <laughs> I don't know. Shut up. I don't save it for have you back in. Save, save it for whose line? Jesus. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, what he doing? has no style. He has no grace. He has a funny face. <laughs> that was that was your rap at Babscon. Yeah, yes. Nice. <laughs> There's a lot of Babscon popping up right now. <sighs> good stuff yeah this article is not in particular saying why it was donkey kong but that's pretty cool though. It, it, yeah. it could have just been a personal preference the person's like i want to 100 percent it so yeah. why not i hope it was i think like... it's clever yeah. i feel like it's just something that they did it's almost like you know what's it's like the egg picture becoming the most like picture on instagram it's clever it's something mm-hmm. to do it's something that you know, it's just unique yep yeah. yep it's really cool. Yeah. By the way, um, you know, just speaking of kind of news in our lives and whatnot, uh, a very big contributor to the Bronies Rack series, uh, Viva Reverie, just recently came out. As I know. Friends. It's amazing. I saw his tweet. So, yeah. All the love to, to Viva. Yeah. Uh, and actually, Viva was the person that I had heard about this charity from because that's what kind of inspired her to come out. Yes. Of- that I heard about it too, but I didn't think to look into the charity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All righty. That being said, uh, back to Twitter, I think. Yes. I saw. Uh, all right. Let's see here. I, right, I'll give you I the take, mouse. I take. I take. I take. What happened? I already refreshed this. Oh, it's because there's two windows. Um, let's see here. Uh, Rosie Diamonds asking a strictly for a fun question, what kind of bird would you use if you could train another bird, and I mean absolutely any other bird, even if it would technically be impossible, to do what falcons do in falconry? Big bird. Mouth. Mouth. So what the heck? Big bird. <laughs> what was that? a lot of information. I'm very... I'm black. What? So if you, could tra- <laughs> if you could train any bird to do what falcons do in falconry, which, which falcons are the only birds that do that, but... Like, like, would Any you uh, train a hummingbird to do it? A raven. Yes. A penguin. A penguin. So it would bring you little flowers? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Pray and bring it back. Any bird. Any bird. Ostrich. T-Rex. T-Rex. What did you say? <laughs> oh, you... S- <laughs> Have that no, perch did, upon did your own saber. Or, did she say extinct was allowed? Uh, it, it, said, it said even if it would technically be impossible. Yep, okay. Okay, well then a griffin. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> ah! I would do raven. Darn right. I'm sticking with Big Bird. <laughs> That's a great choice, Jeff. Thank you. Really average, just the average bird. Just the, the, the average 
I'm sure it has a name. I don't know what it is. It's bird. <laughs> like a blue jay? Bird I don't know. bird. No, just Pigeon. bird. You know the ones that you're like stupid birds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you mean, the guy, you, you mean Brad Bird, the director of Incredible. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's an answer. That's yeah. the Brad, Brad, Brad Bird. All right. Brad bird. It could be any bird. Just a KFC bucket. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next question from Norris Brony asking, "What would be your idea of a great theme park?" Hmm. What? Just, what? what? It, it, you cut what out there I mean, your time. dreams have been realized. What would be your idea <laughs> of a great theme park? I mean, your oh, answer is. I mean, I want. Long. I want a Cartoon Network theme park. Just oh, a theme park. I, mean, I think he's a cutie mark. Uh, though, though there there is like one in like Asia. What is this? Two thousand twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if you could man, choose. theme park. Um, a Monster Hunter theme park with exclusively big rides. <laughs> That's my ideal theme park. A hentai theme All park. Right. Yeah, I was gonna say like Nintendo, but no, they're making one for in Universal. So yeah. Do you do you like my answer, Sarah? What was yours again? A, a hentai theme park. No. You could ride the tentacle ride. <laughs> All girls can. <laughs> Mm. Um, I would want a. I'm, I'm boring. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I, I would. The just thing want... is, like, I, I think the most of the things that you, you're probably gonna think of already have a thing. Yeah. Uh, or are going to have a thing because, like, they're going to have that that thing in Universal with um, Lord of the Rings, where you go to Middle Earth. Oh. Um, they're gonna do so... Nintendo Land. <laughs> yeah. I I honestly like like. The one thing I just need is them to move Zootopia Land to Disneyland, and I'm happy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, then we could go. You don't have enough space over there. Yeah, there's not enough uh, the area. I will make space if I need to. You can do it in Disney World, but not land. Well, that's better than you know China. What? Jim Henson theme park. <laughs> Jim Henson theme yeah, park. All go. Muppets, all of his movies, properties. Yeah. That's what I want. I feel like I get. Henson. For some reason, I thought you meant the guy who says, "Please have a seat." <laughs> no. Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen. <laughs> Chris Hansen theme park. <laughs> are you old enough to ride this ride? <laughs> Man, there are a lot of uh, old guys here. At this park. <laughs> oh my god. Next question. Uh, Soren asking Zootopia fandom question. Have you ever seen the Zootopia feature-length fan film called Return to Zootopia by Brown Table Productions? If not, I recommend it. It's so beautiful. You should watch it with Toodles because I think you will like it too. I actually did not know about this. Well, yeah, what? Which is, I've yet to hear it. Yeah. I, I guess it's time for a race reacts. Bronies react to Zootopia. <laughs> no, it's just a race. I will check yeah. that out. <laughs> just race. That, that's <laughs> just, just, just a race reaction. <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely will check that out. Uh, Jaden asking, are you all excited for season nine? And what are your hopes for generation five? Those that don't know anything. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I don't know anything. Uh, yeah, I don't know anything. Uh, when does season nine come out? Uh, April? Let is me, it April? Is it so like, soon? Hopefully, it's enough time for me I mean, to get that's the next when that's when the last season started, I think. Actually, um, I'm looking it up right now. Ugh. Keep scrolling, scroll faster, scrolling, scroll scrolling, faster. Scrolling. Stop. Now you're already too far. Okay. Well. May. May. Wow. May. Late May. <laughs> Got a ways to wait. Okay. All right. X out of that. I mean, um, yes, I'm excited though. I can't I, wait. Yeah, I'm excited. I still really love the show, and uh, you know, it's always fun to see new material and mm -hmm. and get to riff on new material. I'm excited for it to to see the season finale. I'm sad it'll be over, but I'm curious to see what they want to do yeah. with this gigantic property that's ending. <laughs> it's interesting that there's. I, if I'm correct, there's technically no official statement about the show's ending. I, was, no. oh, okay. I mean, I'm just Wait, saying, what? like, it's pretty much common knowledge, like, for everyone, but I don't think Hasbro's outright said, like, all right, gear up for the last season of Generation 4. 
Yeah, so, huh. I, don't, I mean, have they officially said that? I, they, I, I don't to know. My, I looked. I, I couldn't find anything that was official. So. Well, then how does everybody know? Because uh, of leaks. Because, the yeah, there, there were leaks. And so everyone... Okay, well, as long as I didn't leak it. I'm out. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Game! <laughs> I'm, I'm always afraid I'm going to leak something because I haven't watched a show in a long time, but I also know a lot of what's happening just because of, well, you know. Gabe's so pre-watched I, all the episodes. Oh, I haven't. I've, I've just read the scripts. So you pre-watched all the episodes. <laughs> <laughs> you screened them. Uh, let's see here. So just so everyone is clear, we're going to go till uh, 8. So we have about 13 more minutes of Q&A. <laughs> um, let's see here. Ozzyall. Always enjoy Ozzyall's question. So saw if Stitch's horrible face after the closing of Stitch's Great Escape. I I do know what Aziel is trying to get at. Um, so they closed down the ride, um, Stitch's Great Escape, which was a remake of the previous ride, which was like Alien, Alien. Encounter Alien. or something like that, something like that. Yeah. Um, but apparently, like someone took a picture of the animatronic in the ride that is partially disassembled and it looks crazy i know it's uh, terrifying <laughs> let me see how we can find that and but yeah uh that's all closed down and there's been rumors that it's going to be turned into a wreck it ralph thing i don't know what they do with it but that's what i've been hearing so there's a, into a what a wreck it ralph like ride something like that huh they have a Wreck-It Ralph VR Ooh, experience that'd be interesting. available right now. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah, this is. Oh my god! It looks like it looks like after Chucky got melted. No. Where's the image? Link oh, you've button? seen it. You... We're looking at it right now. Where's the save image link? The one that says save image. As. No. Dingus, I want the link. Oh, go to view save image. Save link. Go to ah. view image. No, God. Go to view image. View image. Sarah, I'm... You can't go. <laughs> all right, all right. Stop. Just stop. You're drunk. Why is it so... Like, view it's image. It's literally the second thing Bam. when I'm on my Mac. View image. View image, and, and then, then you have you... to copy the... You have to... Ma- At least Macs are stupid. That's stupid. Macs no, are stupid. No, your window is stupid. You have to, like, manually open the image in another Some people and... would call it stupid. There in the chat. <laughs> God. All right. Not worth the trouble. All right. right. Uh, oh, there it is. Ooh. Yeah. Creepy. Did you show the, <laughs> the stream? <laughs> uh, show the stream. Oh, hell <laughs> oh, Hold on. I got it. Don't do anything. <laughs> Just don't do anything. Okay. There. Do yeah, anything. you can show the stream. All right. I'll uh, do that. There you go. Now you've seen it. That's the beauty. <laughs> all right, now that everyone's going to have nightmares with us. All right, we got 10 minutes left of Q&A. That being said, uh, our next question is from Olivia uh, asking, are you guys... Oh, here's a here's a deep question. All right, you guys ready for this? Good. Uh, I think so. Are you guys happy with your whole journey in the My Little Pony community? I'm just curious. Oh also, kisses and hugs from Poland. I thought they were going to ask, are you guys all happy with your life? I thought that's where that was going. <laughs> that's <laughs> basically the question. Uh, I was like, jeez, man. <laughs> Sarah, are you happy? Yep. I've been happy with my in my little pony experience. You know? What about, what about Hirosashi? Uh, yeah. I made really good friends. So, it's... What about Laura? She's gone. <laughs> she's gone. She's, she's, she's gone. Left. She's uh. <laughs> she's gone. Uh, she she she's at work tomorrow morning. Super early. She has to go head off. Uh, but uh, since she's dating me, I imagine it's a good experience for her. I don't know. I don't know, man. Wow. <laughs> Paleo, how's your journey wow. been in the My Little Pony community? Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> It was good. Uh, 
no, no, it's it, it's been great. I mean, I wouldn't know any of you guys if uh, I didn't get into it. So, yeah, yeah. and that's been good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what, about, what about you, Gabe? I I I would say that yeah, it it's completely changed my life. I would like to see an alternate. A universe version of me that didn't get involved in My Little Pony and where I would be because I mean it kicked off my channel I met really my best friends ever for, uh, for, through this show um, who are they? And you guys too and also... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> he's sorry he's just not lying um, no of course you guys I love you guys that was that was a joke but um yeah but then there are also things that, oh, I, that I'm not happy about like there were some bad experiences I had like the whole moving to Canada and you know all the the boycotting and stuff like that you know and the you know so it, it's it's been a, a double-edged sword but honestly you know sure. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. what Double-edged sword. A double-edged sword. <laughs> son of a lad. Um, well, Gabe, I mean, you've had you've had a very interesting kind of. You could say there's almost been two experiences for you. One one mm -hmm. on the fandom side, and then one on the show side, and and definitely the the fandom side. I guess you could say, if you know, not to put words in your mouth, but seems to be a lot more of a positive experience. You are. Correct, sir. Actually, that's the. I mean, yes, I would agree with that. I, I have had some more positive experiences on the fandom side. Um, I have had some negative experiences on the fandom side too, namely the fandom attacking me. But that was <laughs> for, as for a something of... that you didn't do. <laughs> yes, but that was a res right. That was a result of me going on the other side and having uh, managers and agents step in and manage my career for me and manage it straight into the ground. So the <laughs> the there it is. Well spent. <laughs> there it is. Oh, boy. So, yeah. No, I mean, I can't blame other people. I, uh, for, you know, everyone makes mistakes and such. But, yes, I uh, – overall, I think the experience has been very positive and the negatives I've learned from. So how yeah. life goes. And, and naturally, we'll – We'll look to make it even better in the future. Yes, fingers crossed. Heck yeah! Mm -hmm. That way we'll stop get, having you see spoilers in season or Generation Five. <laughs> so yeah, can... hopefully I won't see any spoilers in Generation Five. I, I, hopefully I won't know anybody who works on Generation Five. <laughs> that so... see now I need to be. <laughs> Shut up! I, I oh my gosh, I'm just not talking can, well can today. I know what you mean. I, I know what okay, I, good. I, I know what you but it just it's just I, it made me laugh. It's I know it sounded really messed up. Like gah, worst thing in my life knowing those pony people. Uh, but um yeah, no Gen Five will work on making you be a a, a real true brony again. Yes. Don like when you Donald. said Donald, I'm like, that didn't sound anything like Trump. <laughs> Weren't you the guy who was watching your brony? That was you, right? That was me, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I didn't I didn't know that was Gabe's song, I think, until after I definitely after I started working with you. I mean, that's kind of the way it goes with you. Didn't you just find out that I was the maybe I'll be tracer guy when you yeah. were at my house? Yeah, and then I found out about beep beep, I'm a sheep, like like mm -hmm. I'm like, During why is everyone convention? Why is everyone having him sing this? Like, I mean, right. I guess I just, you know, cool. I didn't. Know. Hey, do you know why they have Michelle sign Apple Bloom pictures? Uh, <laughs> well, I was she assuming does a I was, she does yeah, a good she's, impression. She's not a very convincing Apple Bloom, though. Yeah, That's true. She, I've heard her impression <laughs> at Disneyland. She didn't convince anybody. <laughs> That's actually true. Does I, I? I feel like this story should be told, even if, if just hasn't. in case. We've, okay, so we've, it, it's we've shared it publicly. Story. We have shared this story. Oh, okay. No, it's just hilarious that she did her voice for somebody. He's like, hey, Michelle does a great Apple Bloom. And she did it. And he was like, meh. Yeah. It's decent. <laughs> yeah, these girls that were at Disneyland, uh, it was one of the EQLAs. I think it was the second EQLA, 2013. And uh, we ran into some girls. Like, one was wearing, like, a Sweetie Belle shirt or something. And we're like, oh, hey, we're yes. at the convention. And they're like, what convention? <laughs> And and so then we jokingly were like, oh, by the way, this girl does a killer Apple Bloom voice. Like, listen to this; it sounds just like it. And Michelle did it, and the girl's like, oh yeah, that was. I mean, that was pretty pretty good. <laughs> it was kind of close. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah. And then I was like, 
You fool! <laughs> That was a great, yeah. I I think we all got a kick out of that one. Um, that was very funny. All right, let's see here. Uh, just a couple. Why is minutes. that an expression? We got a kick out of it. What is the what? You, why is that? The, I kick things when I'm like, you know, happy. it's like a kick in the pants and like groin. A kick of people in the pants. Yeah, kick in the pants. Like like when you put hot sauce. So I don't know. Where kick I'm going in the with shin. <laughs> oh boy, the real shin snapper. Light Night Productions wants to know who is your favorite YouTuber, not including bronies. Sarah? Um, not AC Race Best, because he's a brony. Uh, Arlo? Um, um, MKBHD, I guess. I'll be really boring. <laughs> I really like PBS Space Time. I, I like the slow-mo guys, and I like uh, uh, Smarter Every Day with Destin. Slow mo over again. Oh, the PBS thing great. reminded me. P- PBS Eons. I like that. I love PBS Eons. That's another good one. But you sh- if you like Eons, you'd probably like Space Time too. They're both really good. Cool. Uh, on the same note, Light Night Productions wants to know do you like PewDiePie? Oh, yeah. I love PewDiePie. He's hilarious. He's... Take it or leave it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't watch PewDiePie. Okay, to be honest, I'm more <laughs> here's not his side of things. But... Yeah. <laughs> I don't, yeah. We need I don't to be T Series. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't, there could be worse YouTubers who are the number one subscribed. That's all I'll say. Could be Logan Paul. It could be Logan frickin' Paul. <laughs> or his brother, Paul Paul. Oh, there's two. Oh, good. Yeah. Jake Paul. Oh, Dude, oh right. They should have I thought they were Paul. the same person. No, no they're, they're brothers. <laughs> And they're Dude, both, brother. they're both very they complement each other quite well. Uh let's see here. Uh two questions left to finish off the night. Ozzy I'll asking thoughts on Lee Unkrich. <laughs> I don't know. Leaving Oh yeah, he left Pixar. Uh, Pixar. Leaving Pixar after being with the studio for twenty five years. Mm, I, Dang. The thing. Uh it, was that because of the thing, the thing, the talk thing? Lasseter? Yeah, wasn't there something that happened? Is something bad? Yeah, well, I, I don't think it was related stuff? to that because it happened so far after all of oh. that. But um, you, so you don't think that John Lasseter hugged Lee or touched his leg? Well, I mean, what, John Lasseter hasn't been at Pixar for a, a while now. So. <clears throat> oh, that's the one. Okay, sorry. Just... What if Lee goes to the same studio that John just started working at? Oh yeah, yeah. By the way, it's a studio hired John Lasseter and everybody's like, whoops. <laughs> um, whoops, whoops for the publicity side of it. Yeah. But also at the same time, who knows? Like, like I said, it could be interesting if like some people just don't pay attention and they're like, Oh, that movie was good. Oh, apparently, um, says, uh, he announced he's leaving Pixar and the film industry in general to spend time with his family. Hmm. Oh, okay. Cool. That's cute. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess that's that. okay. When, when like, you spent 25 like, years building Pixar from effectively the ground up. Whoa, yeah, because he, like, he like co-directed Toy Story 2. He directed Toy Story 3. Oh. Uh, yeah. And his most, most recent one was Coco. Yeah. Animation. Remember like, I mean, there's a lot of careers that will <laughs> kind singing, of Sarah. keep taking you from your family. But animation, it, it seems like that one in particular takes a lot of your time. Uh, yeah. Especially in his position where he's, you know, lead. Yeah. Uh, last question of the night, and it is a Zootopia one. Yeah. As a fellow fan of Zootopia, what are your thoughts on the movie? And this goes to anyone who wants to answer. What are your thoughts on the movie's alternate storyline, the one involving predators wearing shock collars? Would the movie have worked if it used that story? It, it would have, but I don't think it would have It would have been, been way too heavy-handed. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. I agree. I'm really glad that never made it out of production. It, it was too much. I've seen I've seen people, not, not on a majority side, but I've seen a number of people say, oh, they should have gone with that one. And I'm like, I like, I like when people are like, oh, they really screwed up. Look how unsuccessful Zootopia was. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm like, yeah. Sure. There, yeah, they always out make theme parks really, out of unsuccessful movies. Really g- <laughs> crave that grim, gritty darkness, and I'm just like, no. <laughs> grim, gritty darkness. Yeah, if, it, if, if it's that something way, that man. they want, anything dark she loves. Ooh, if if it's something that fan. they 
Like, I, I feel like they had a lot of ideas for the first movie. Yeah. Even before they got to the shot color stuff. Yeah. Like, they, they were going down this whole, like, spy route. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and so... That could be fun. Yeah. I mean, there there's a lot of ideas that I feel like they could use in sequels. Yeah. You know, maybe... I think it... Be... Go on. Go ahead. Uh, I just... If they make a sequel, I want them to use those two characters. The... the, the... The Jack Frost or whatever his name, Jack 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 with the the guy, the guy bunny, Jack, Jack Savage, Savage? Yes. Jack Frost. Yeah. You should have yeah, seen Sarah's face. <laughs> Sarah like, looked at yeah. me like, "What is Hirosashi smoking?" <laughs> yeah, Jack Savage and the, the 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 Arctic Fox girl, who her name what? Her name is Sky in it. Sky, something like that. You don't Sky. know these characters, yeah. Paleo. Well, yeah, they didn't make it in the about? final product, they, These so these were these were the, the original characters. Originally, it was going to be a guy rabbit and a girl fox. Yeah, as a, like oh, a spy right. duo. That's right. Oh, yeah. and a lot yeah. of people I that, like of, of the, in the, that was that were already in the movie. I was like, who? <laughs> I wouldn't no, be surprised. I, I would not be surprised if they did utilize characters like that for a sequel, because again, they were really fleshing out like what they could do with those characters. Uh, mm -hmm. And there could be really interesting chemistry with having, mm -hmm. you know, a, a male rabbit that Judy potentially looks up to that Nick's like, I'm jealous. <laughs> and then he eats Jack Savage. Uh, <laughs> the end. I've already. <laughs> I, just, I just like their designs, so they should. Uh, yeah. Do something with There's them. a lot of art out there of those two. Blood. Oh yeah, yes. nice wholesome art. Mm -hmm. Family friendly, <laughs> good art. Yeah. All right, well, I got it all over my walls. Yeah, uh, Nick, Nick is totally. <laughs> when looking at the art, Lee. what did Matt just say? What that? Uh, there's pictures of Nick eating Jack savagely. <laughs> ah. There's also pictures of Nick eating. Never mind. Uh, so. Uh, 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 uh. Good that being night, said, everybody. thank you for joining us here on the Semi Perfect Podcast. We hope you had a grand old jolly. Jolly. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be back in February. It'll be the sixth of February. Yeah. And uh, two weeks from now, join us Wednesday night. We'll be here on uh, discount. Keep an eye out for new videos coming out. I know I'm going to be releasing one. Anyone else releasing a video in the next week? Yes, sir. Uh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> not getting some, why, uh, does it, why does it sound so unsure? I, uh, <laughs> because I, was, I am. I am unsure. I have a of uncertainty. <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm working on getting uh, the next parts of the Disney eras out in the next couple months. Nice. Um, and also, uh, before the Lego movie comes out, I'm doing a, a movie about the first Lego movie. Nice. Awesome. Very good. But before the Lego Movie 2 comes out. Everything is awesome. Well, again, thanks to uh, to our live audience. Thanks to everyone listening on delay. Thank you to all the podcasters. I always like saying on delay, by the way, because it sounds like I'm saying on delay. <laughs> but uh, And, of course, our super chatters. Thank you to Quiet Storm, Pranshan, Pranshan Nora Mermaid, Mermaid, Mermaid Fritz Roll, and Soundboard. Soundboard. Good night, everybody. You like that harmony? Good night. Bye, you. Good night. Good night.